Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And a welcome as well to RSPB Ooze Fen. Now, this is actually going to be the location for next week's video. Um, long story short, Mrs. S and I are going on holiday. Um, and I won't have time to edit my video from down here before we go. Now, when the video is released, we will be back from holiday. So there will be videos coming from that. However, I kind of needed to put together a video for you guys before we go. So, who's fan? i say, next week's video. This week's video, I just want to give five tips in five minutes or less for people looking at starting a journey into bird and wildlife photography. Now, let's get straight into this. Ready, go. Tip number one then. When using your camera handheld, always remember the rule for your shutter speed of one over focal length. Now, what does that actually mean? Now, if you're using a lens that has a focal length of 500 millimeters, you wanna be shooting at around 1 500th of a second. If you're using a lens of 300 millimeters, you wanna be using a shutter speed of about 1 300th of a second. Why? This will help get you sharper images when hand holding to prevent camera shake. Okay, so tip number two, and that is know your camera. One of the worst things you can do is constantly fumble around trying to change settings and stuff. You need to be able to do that really quickly. With wildlife photography, you have an ever-changing environment, which can result in missed pictures, blurry images. You manage to grab the shot, but not quite at the right time. If you know your camera inside out, it will prevent you missing those shots. Okay, so tip number three then. What you wanna remember is light direction. And a key rule here is always shoot into your shadow. Now, what that basically means is you wanna try and make sure that the light is behind you. So it is casting out over the subject that you're looking to photograph. If that's obviously not possible, what you wanna try and do is utilize light coming from the sides. Backlighting is a very, very good technique that you can utilize when it comes to wildlife photography. However, it's a real, real tricky thing to master. So just remember that rule always shoot into your shadow. Okay, so tip number four then, I think we're making good time in these five minutes. Now, that is you want to try and get eye level with the subject that you are photographing. Sounds easier said than done, but patience can be a real virtue with this. If you're looking at shooting things that are in a tree, what you wanna try and do is just be patient and wait for them to come down onto a lower branch so that they're more at eye level with you. Rather than shooting right up at them, all you're gonna end up with is pictures of birds' bellies. Alternatively, if you're shooting water birds as well, you wanna try and get down to the edge of the water, get down as low as possible by laying down or crouching and try and shoot out across the water. Not only will it give you a better picture of the wildlife that you're photographing, it will also give you a much nicer background as well. Easier said than done, and not always possible, but it's worth remembering, give it a try. Okay, so we've made it to tip number five then, and this is probably the most simple thing to do, and that is get out. Get off the computer, get off the sofa, off your phones, and get out into nature with your camera, and take photos. It's really, really not a difficult thing to do, but the best way to learn how to take better pictures is just to get out with the camera. Get out and do it. You aren't gonna learn from sitting around. You can be the most technologically sound person out there. You might be the most intelligent person out there, but unless you actually get out with the camera and take photos, all that knowledge and technical know-how, it's not worth anything at all. So there we have it. 
five tips in I think what is less than five minutes actually. Um, no photos up this week. I just literally want to give you those five points to try and help those who are just starting their wildlife photography journey, who are just beginning. Maybe you've just bought your first camera. Couple of little tips. Now, I've done videos on all of these things before. I will try and remember to put cards to link you to those videos. So if you want to actually know a little bit more or go check out those videos anyway, head back to the bit that you want to sort of focus on the tip that you want to focus on, click the card and it'll take you through to those videos. Failing that, just click on my channel and scroll through. There's probably some really good videos out there to help you learn for those beginners. I've only been doing wildlife photography for about a year now, just over. However, I have been doing photography for about 20 years now, of varying sorts. So yeah, there we have it. Now, I'm going to sign out of this week's video. Um, what I will say as well, especially for those beginners, this would be a really, really good thing to do. If you're looking at buying any photography equipment, one of my previous videos about was the first time I used a gimbal head, and it was in collaboration with Kent Faith. Now, they were fantastic enough to provide me with a discount code, which will give you 17% off. So when you go onto their site, if you wanna get some filters, a tripod, the gimbal head, go through, browse their website. They have an absolute massive array of photography gear that you can get your hands on. Go to check out, it'll ask you for a coupon code. Use the coupon code Mike, and as I say, that will give you 17% off your whole basket. It is site-wide and that is available until I think the 31st of the 12th, 2024. I'll put the information up on the screen, but make sure you check it out. It's a brilliant place to grab some really good value um, equipment. And as I said, we did it around the gimbal head, my gimbal head review, and I'm really, really pleased with that gimbal head. Head back, check out the video. If I remember, I'll stick a card up here as well so that you can go watch it. Now, this video isn't sponsored by Kent Faith or anything as such. However, I think it is really good that any beginners watching this can go grab themselves a nice little cheeky discount. So, right, I'm gonna actually head off. As I say, I'll sign out now. I'm gonna go do some photography around Ooze Fen for, uh, next week's video and uh, yeah obviously if you like this one give us the old thumbs up and if you don't already drop some subscribes from down the bottom subscribes i always have real issues saying that word um, and keep up to date and obviously check out the video next week from who's fan and yeah this is my account take care and be safe everyone peace <laughs>